G'day, this is Carl Thompson from Storagecraft in Australia and New Zealand, and today we're just going to be doing a quick update on Image Manager 7.1. The big feature enhancement here is the ability for advanced verification now utilizing Hyper-V. So what we're going to do is we'll dig straight into a demo, and along the way I'll explain to you how this all comes together. So taking a look at Image Manager, I have upgraded this to version 7.1 and we're just going to take a specific look at this particular managed folder under Properties, Verification. So you can see here under the Advanced Verification, this is turned off by default. When we check this box to ensure new consolidated image files successfully boot, it will pop up explaining that we can either utilize the Virtual Boot Hyper-V plugin or Oracle VirtualBox. So we've previously supported Oracle VirtualBox in Image Manager 7, and with this update to 7.1, we now also support the ability to utilize the Virtual Boot Hyper-V plugin. So you can accept that message, and then you get the option to choose either daily, weekly, or monthly image files. For this demonstration, I'm going to select daily. For this demo, I'm going to leave it at five minutes to take the screenshot. Uh, I may not actually wait for that, but we will um, come back and look at what that looks like. So I'm going to click Save here, and I'm just going to quickly take you to the support web page down to Software Downloads and Updates. And this is where you can download all of the StorageCraft software, in particular the StorageCraft Virtual Boot Hyper-V plugin. So this requires Hyper-V 2012 R2, and it's used for SPX Virtual Boot or an Image Manager 7.1 for the advanced verification. Additionally, if we scroll down a bit further, to StorageCraft Image Manager 7.1. So again, these have both been installed on my Hyper-V 2012 R2 server, and this is giving us the ability for the advanced verification. So let's go and see what that looks like. I have just enabled the advanced verification. What I'm going to do is I've actually um, had this consolidation job disabled. So I'm just quickly going to select Start Processing and I've selected that folder and click Start. So this is going to simulate what automatically happens every day at midnight. It is just doing its end of day consolidation. Uh, again, I have had that job disabled so that we can kick that off right away. And now what will be happening is an advanced verification will be taking place. So if we just open up Hyper-V, I'm just going to push this over to one side and I'm also going to open up the backup image folder. So this is the consolidated file that's just happened. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I can see this temporary file that's just appeared here. This is a temp file that's being used by the virtual boot process, as well as this migration file that's just appeared here. So this basically tells Image Manager not to consolidate or apply retention to anything here while the virtual boot process is happening. The same thing happens um, within SPX uh, with the virtual boot process. So if we pop back over here to Hyper-V, I can now see that that backup is now instantly booted. Um, we've given it one CPU, uh, two gig of memory, so it's the minimum spec for that operating system. Uh, additionally, the network adapter has been left disconnected. But this is now booting up. We can see here it's been running for 24, 25 seconds. Once that reaches that five minute mark, which we set an image manager, it will automatically take a screenshot and destroy the VM and destroy those um, files that have just appeared in that backup image folder. So that screenshot's going to automatically be emailed to the notification contact to show them that the machine has been booted. It will also leave an image in the backup folder um, you know, with that screenshot as well. So basically um, what that would look like after five minutes is an email like this, just showing you that the server had booted. If it perhaps hadn't got to the login screen or it was still booting, you might see a black screen or you might see you know, Windows still booting up. So that's where you may need to increase that boot time um, for the screenshot to, to give it a bit longer to boot. But the cool thing is it's using minimal resources. It runs at midnight after consolidation happens by default. Um, and sends off this email. Now actually I just need to clarify uh, in Image Manager to, in order to have saved that verification setting, we need to go down into notification settings and under email setup, make sure you have configured your email settings and make sure you do a test to ensure that your email gateway is working. And basically, um, either daily, weekly or monthly, you'll receive an email for each server that, that's gone and done this to and um, you can see that you know that your servers, your backups are booting, and that everything's all good. 
All right, that was a nice quick sharp demo today. So thanks for your time. Again, my name is Carl Thompson from Storagecraft in Australia and New Zealand. Cheers.